Hi besties, welcome to today's video. Welcome to a beautiful brand new day. Motivational Monday episode number 34. That's insane. Can you believe 34 Motivational Monday episodes? I cannot wrap my head around it. In today's video, we went to Mexico. I know you guys love it when we go, so of course I brought you along with us. We actually just got back from Mexico today. And as you guys know, I've set a new goal for myself to work out six days a week, and I did that. I worked out Monday through Friday, and then I rested yesterday, which was the day we were in Mexico. Worked out perfectly, and then today, Sunday, now that we're back, it is time to get back on the grind. We're gonna talk more about this later. I'm gonna get changed into my workout clothes. I'm gonna roll the clips from Mexico first and then we will be right back. We just made it to Mexico and we are waiting outside of the torta places we eat at. It's right there, right there. But my sister says he's getting her hair done and we have to wait for her. And the more we wait, the hangrier I get. Anyways, to distract myself, I'm, I'm looking at everything and I just realized that you could get a car customized with your zodiac sign. The car in front of us says Taurus. Do you think I can get one that says Scorpio? <laughs> the way she laughs at your jokes. I know, but you laugh too. I get it. Yeah. I didn't laugh. Yeah, you did. Good morning, besties. We are now heading out to go and get my nails done. We're gonna go get a pedicure. We're gonna cross off the first thing from my 26 wish list bucket list. I'm so excited. I have never gotten one. I'm a little scared I'm gonna laugh because whenever someone tries to touch my feet, I laugh. So that's gonna be an interesting one. This is going to be my confessional for my first um, episode of coming of age to 26 <laughs> based off of my poster board um i'm feeling excited i always wanted to have nice toes and the lady should feel special because i did shave for her she don't do often <laughs> um yeah i'm also nervous i'm gonna have to pee when i sit down but i think we should be fine it's gonna be a fun time breakfast we're headed to a waldos which is like a dollar store kind of yeah. look at how tiny these carts are We just got out of Waldo's, so a quick haul of what we got. Of course, we had to get something for Gigi. We got her this little Cowboys jersey. I got this hand moisturizer because my hands are begging for it. They dry out, especially now that it's getting colder. And then I got this for my makeup brushes because I have one, but it's a little bit slimmer that I got from the dollar store in the US of A. But this is a little bit bigger, so this will be better. And then we got this for the eggs in the fridge. And then Brenda got some things. She got a dinosaur and a crocodile i think right mm -hmm. we just got out of the nail salon and let me tell you guys i am slipping and sliding in my shoes that's how soft they are okay so i am out of the nail salon now and i have to give you guys an update I think I I like pedicures. I was scared to get a pedicure because I thought I was gonna die laughing because I, I tend to get very ticklish, but I was totally fine, very comfortable. The ladies that were doing mine and Christina's feet, they were so nice. They were very talkative, very funny, loved them. I decided to go for a like reddish pink color. And you know, I, I think I have to say that I'm gonna possibly start getting pedicures because my feet feel 
baby smooth. Like I was slipping and sliding inside my Crocs and my nails look nice. So yeah, crossing that off the bucket list. And I don't think I'm gonna show you guys what my toes look like, only because it's probably kind of weird, you know? What's our level of comfortability on this channel? If you saw Friday's video, I made this little poster board, which is just Crystal's 26 wish list. Based off of the movie 16 Wishes on Disney Channel with Debbie Ryan, I had always wanted to make my own little 16 Wishes poster board. Here I am a decade later actually doing my poster. We just knocked number one off the board. And I have to say, I am a pedicure person now. Like it was phenomenal. I loved it. My feet, my toes, have never looked better. We did pre game a little bit because my birthday isn't until today when you guys are watching this, but I'm going into age 26 with some good looking toes. Uh-huh, as you can see, I have not fully decided yet the other things I would like to add on here, but I will be adding them. I will keep you guys updated. I'm gonna be vlogging everything, so get excited. A lot of little mini series and segments coming in my videos, and I'm so happy about that. Anyways, we've gotta get ready to work out because it is currently 2.58. The day is leaving us here pretty soon, and we've gotta get started on this workout because we also wanna go for a hot girl walk, and we've got things to do. I wanted to share with you guys a couple of things that I have learned throughout the years. Number one, finding balance is the key to life. I find that there's usually two ways that we go about things. Either we get caught up in productivity culture and burn ourselves out, or we get lost in comfort culture and feel like we're wasting away. But when you find that balance, it becomes so much easier to remember that you're only human and that you deserve to rest, but you also deserve to go after your dreams. Number two, weigh out what benefits you and what is wasting your time. Let me tell you that I used to justify spending an entire day mindlessly scrolling on social media but would dread a 20 minute workout or even a 10 minute workout because I was like, if I work out, that's time I'm not getting back. When in reality, what's actually going to benefit me is that 10 minute workout, that 20 minute workout, and that six second video I just saw, I will probably forget about it. Number three. Motivation does not always come to you. You cannot simply rely on motivation to carry you through anything in life. The motivation might get you started, but if you want to keep going, you must be disciplined. You must be consistent and you must do things even when you don't feel like doing them. Number four, the only limit is the mind. You are capable of anything you set your mind to, but if you keep yourself in a place where you feel unchallenged, where you are comfortable, you will simply stay stuck. Number five, sleep is just as important as eating healthy and working out. Putting myself on a sleep schedule and getting into routine is what has helped me to stay consistent over time and has allowed me to properly rest and recover my body so that I am better able to show up for myself every single day done with my workout i ended up doing an hour and 15 minutes burned a total of 413 calories so that's a good little workout as you guys know if we move over here sundays are basically just my hit days so check that off the list um little update here i guess on my chart i've been putting little stars every single day to mark what i've done and as you can see it kind of slowly trickled down throughout the week which is totally okay. It's week number one. These are the goals that I've set for myself that I wanna to try to accomplish every single week. We started off Monday and Tuesday really strong. I completed every single thing, except on Wednesday, I was only able to hit the 10K steps, but I didn't go on a hot girl walk. And then Thursday, I also didn't do that, nor did I hit the 10K steps because I was editing away and Friday, we left. So yeah, this whole week, I still got my workout in, which, you know, 
at the end of the day that's like my main priority is making sure that i'm doing my workout these other things are just little challenges for myself and i wish i could have completed them all week number one but on the bright side i kind of know now where my weaknesses are and it's basically me not knowing how to prioritize my time so i need to figure that out so going into this week i'm going to aim to cross all of these off and with the knowledge i know now about what my weaknesses are throughout the week i will try harder for this week i am going to tidy up a little bit because we're not going to go walking for another hour so i'm going to take the time to clean up my room because I like going into Monday with a tidy space so that I don't feel super cluttered in my head. But actually, quick shout out to my sisters because for my birthday, they got me 10 pound weights. So I'm so excited to be able to challenge myself with a little bit more weight. I know 10 pounds isn't a lot, but it's a lot for me. It feels good. I worked out with them today and I could feel it in my legs because my seven and a half pound ones, like they definitely challenge me in some movements, but there's certain movements where I need a little bit more weight. Example, my lower body. And now that I had those 10 pounds today, I could definitely feel when I was doing my lower body workouts that I could feel my muscles more. Number six, saying no is not selfish. Do what you have to do for yourself and if doing something for yourself means setting that boundary and saying no then say no and number seven you must also learn to be okay with receiving a no number eight sometimes you have to let go as hard as it is to see something good come to an end you have to realize that change is inevitable and it is okay number nine don't be sad it's over be happy it happened it's hard to let go of those good old memories, but you mustn't deny yourself those good new moments that are on their way. Number 10, every day is a choice. You can choose to change your life at any second. You can choose to turn your day around at any second. If you choose to, you can do it. Number 11, unless you get up and do it, it won't happen thinking about it is only the start number 12 you will never feel ready enough sometimes you just have to jump right in and learn as you go because if you just wait until you're ready you're just gonna keep waiting number 13 you cannot expect everyone to love the same way you do doing so is only a resentment in the making you are most definitely deserving of receiving the type of love that you want to receive, but you cannot expect others to give you that type of love. And those are just 13 things that I have learned throughout my life. There's obviously so many more things that I could share with you guys. And if you have seen my videos, then you know I've basically gone into depth with each and every single one of those things that I mentioned. But obviously that is not all. There's so much more that I can share. There's so much more I have yet to share. There's so much more that I have yet to even learn and then eventually share. So of course I just did a short little list and you should most definitely subscribe so you guys can, you know, keep up with those check the old ones out get ready for more new ones i actually am just editing two days video which is insane i'm like calling it so close it is currently november 6 10 48 in about an hour and 12 minutes it's going to be my birthday i'm going to be 26 years old it is literally my last my last hour and 11 minutes now of being 25 and yeah i know my last couple videos i have continuously talked about how i'm about to be 26 basically i'm not gonna shut up because 26 bro 26 that's insane um but i'm actually very excited for my 26th year of life and i feel like i've leveled up i feel like i'm ready to see what else is coming for me and one thing that's got me really excited is that poster board you know having a little goal list of things that i want to accomplish you know i love a good challenge and i'm determined to cross those things off we've already got the pedicure done which shout out to my sister christina for hooking me up with that because she came through and i was able to already cross one thing off second thing is actually to read more books to read 12 books to be exact and that's one book a month I'm about to get ready to start reading my new book. Shout out to my sister Ceci for hooking me up with this. 
My sisters Brenda and Ceci got me the new ways. My parents took me out to eat for my birthday. It's been a great weekend. I am feeling beyond grateful and privileged to have such a wonderful family. I love all of you guys. Kisses. I'm also grateful for you guys. You guys are awesome and you guys have made year 25 amazing. The amount of growth I've seen on my YouTube channel is just insane. And I'm grateful to each and every single one of you guys for taking that time out of your day to watch my videos and to listen to me babble on forever and for you guys going over to check out the podcast and you guys are just amazing you guys are you guys are my besties i'm gonna be 26 that's insane but i'm excited excited to see what life brings <laughs>